judge began questioning potential jurors in the federal sex trafficking trial of one-time girlfriend to the late Jeffrey Epstein, Ghislaine Maxwell. Maxwell charged with recruiting the teenage girls for Epstein to sexually abuse in his homes all over the world, including on Palm Beach. Our investigative reporter, Terry Parker, is here with more from today's court proceedings. Terry? For the first time, prospective jurors today came face to face with Ghislaine Maxwell, once called one of the most hunted women in the world before she was arrested last year and charged with sex trafficking and other charges. The British socialite, daughter of the late multi-millionaire media tycoon Robert Maxwell, wore a dark suit and sat about 10 feet away from the potential jurors. The judge questioned the individual jurors, trying to see if they can stay impartial in the case against Maxwell, which has received worldwide publicity. Maxwell faces charges that she lured and groomed four underage teens into Jeffrey Epstein's luxury orbit, knowing she was setting them up for sexual abuse from Epstein. She has vehemently denied any guilt. After Epstein was found dead in his New York cell in 2019, prosecutors set their sights on Maxwell, his longtime associate and one-time girlfriend, finally tracking her down in a remote New Hampshire home after months of false sightings and speculation as to her whereabouts. Now. She will sit in the Manhattan federal courtroom for the next six to eight weeks as jurors hear the case against her as well as her defense. The 12 jurors and six alternates who will hear the case will not be chosen until November 29th when opening statements will begin. I will be in New York for those opening statements and bringing you the very latest in this highly anticipated trial. Todd.